And as Darby said, this December will not only go down in the record books as one of the warmest here, but in many parts of the Southern Plains. Now to dig a little deeper into those numbers for our area, let's bring in meteorologist Robert Sir, who has this week's Sunday Science. Hi, Robert. Hi, Kendall. Yeah, you know, back in 1996, the Counting Crows came out with a song called A Long December. Well, this yeah. has been a warm <laughs> December, and as Darby said, it is certainly one for the record books, but I dug through all the numbers, and I want to show you some really interesting stats from the warmth, and we're going to start with Drake Field uh, in Fayetteville here. So this is a graph of all of the temperatures so far this month, the highs and lows. And all of the numbers that you see here, these are all record highs that were set. Seven of them actually at Drake Field, new record highs in December. And what's interesting is they're really all spread out. It's not like they're front loaded in the beginning of the month or they're all, they just happened. They're really evenly spread out. We even set not record lows, but record high lows in terms of we set records for the warmest morning on record at Drake Field. And what is really incredible here is this is December 26th and we have had 20 days out of 26 that are above average. That is really ridiculous. Just six days where we were below average. Not to be forgotten, we'll check in on Fort Smith as well where they have also been incredibly warm. They have had five record highs uh, so far in December. And they've also had a few record high lows at the Fort Smith Airport. They've had 21 days so far this month out of 26 that have been above average. They've had four, or just four, where they've had below average days. And they have had one day, I forget exactly which one, which day it was, but they did have one day where they were right at average. So that's why these uh, two numbers don't add up to 26. But as you can see, we've had some valleys where we have had some periods of cold air, but a lot more peaks, 80 degrees there on the 9th. That is, that's why it was a record. More records could be broken, Kendall, as we go into the final week. It doesn't look as likely, but there is that chance. But we'll keep an eye on it. But as Darby and myself have mentioned, this has been one historic December. In the meantime, that's this week's Sunday Science. I'm meteorologist Robert Sir. We'll have much more coming up right after the break.